one of the things that you mentioned um, in, you know, on your website and a couple of things that you've written is the importance of older generations reaching down into yes. like millennials or even Gen Z. Gen Z is uh, those kids that are born from 1997 to 2012. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah. 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 So they're, they're really, I mean, um, we're talking college, uh, just got out of college, that TikTok. type of <laughs> TikTok. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not even a TikTok though. I could be, but yeah, well, there you um, go. So. <laughs> so, you know, that generation, there are so many boomers, maybe even the silent generation that's above them that are like hands off. Like, I don't even know how to talk to them. I don't know what I would say, uh, how I would relate to them. Um, and yet that's what you're calling the church to do in your book is you're saying, no, 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 no. That's what we need to be doing. Like they are our future. So it's the harvest. It's the harvest. It's the harvest. So remember Jesus, the harvest is rich. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, yeah. So but we're the laborers. <laughs> what is it that the older generations have to learn from the younger generations? Okay. Um, that's loaded too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a lot in that. Um, one of the statistics that comes up, do you know Barna Research? Yes, Batman? absolutely. Okay. Well, that's who I use throughout my book. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, David Kinnaman is a great guy and, and yeah. is the head of that. Uh, but with that said, um, and you've probably heard this a million times before, but um, statistically, this generation is spiritual, but not religious. Yep. Are you there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hear it. So uh, help me with that is where I begin. Because mm-hmm. um, yours truly, me, a boomer, happens to be both. I'm both spiritual and I'm religious. Is that Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I I put a pause right there and ask, let them know who I am just to kind of get them to raise an eyebrow. Well, you know, so what? You're an old man. That does, you know, no big deal. So then let's talk about your spiritual life because, you know, I'm spiritual too. Mm-hmm. And tell me about your spirit and what spirits are at work in you. Mm. Yeah. Are you there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see, because there's a lot of spirits out there, Courtney. You know, now there may might be able to say, well, my dog is really close to me and he's my best friend. You know, oh, that's great. <laughs> you know, <laughs> good. you, you want to yeah, sort of elevate it a little bit from that conversation or, you know, the clouds are like spirit. Or when I go to the mountain or the beach, it's yeah. spiritual. Okay. Tell me what makes that spiritual? Well, the beach, well, what else? Mm-hmm. Where did the beach come from? <laughs> you know, let's start yeah. getting into the creation, you know, God, is where I'm going with this. Yeah. So anyways, yeah. it's that kind of conversation that really is sort of easy to have in one sense, but in another, it's complicated mm-hmm. and it's brand new. Um, I don't know if you know the phrase tabula rasa, but it's the blank slate board. I mean, they're, they're blackboard. That's old school, okay. but you know, okay. <laughs> there's nothing on it. So the, the advantage to this is that we get to sort of fill in some of the pieces that are really missing. Like Holy mm. Spirit, what are you talking about? Mm. You know, well, or, let's talk or about it. those things that have gotten mixed in culture says them, but their definition of them is not what biblically we would believe. Yeah. And so yeah. people talk about it, or I love what you're saying. Like, I, I had a spiritual experience. Well, what does that mean to you? Yeah. And because I've had a spiritual experience at the top of a mountain too, but what I got sure, to I do have was, too. I have to, <laughs> yeah, it was look down and see God's creation. Tell me about Amen. your spiritual. I love yeah. that. What you're doing is instead of assuming that they are this way and I am this way and never the two shall meet. Right. Instead, right. you are building a bridge between Beautiful the bridge. two. 